Do you live beyond your own limitations or are you stuck in your old patterns? Well, my guest today is Carl Bozeman, and he's written this terrific book called On Being God. And I'm looking forward to hearing his answers to these questions. Welcome to the show, Carl. Thank you, Michelle. It's great to be here. What do you mean on being God? Are you saying that we are all God? Yeah, essentially that is what I'm saying, uh, human experience. Uh, and and, and I, I take that a little bit further. I think that we are actually more than just what we identify as a spiritual being. We are actually the creators of our own experience, the creators of our own life. And we uniquely create that life uh, outside of what, what else is going on in the world, what other people are doing. We actually create our own experience. And so we really are gods. Gods are creators. We are creators. We are gods. Okay, I'm sure that some people's hackles are going up right now, as they might have to your own uh, your own spiritual sense years ago, because this is a, a divergence of how you were brought up and, and where you came from. Are you really saying that we are gods, like I should pray to you and you should pray to me, or are you just saying we're creative beings, or are you saying something else altogether? You know, the, the question about who to pray to is, is a good one. And, and re- ultimately, um, mo- you know, most people are, when they, when they pray, they pray to a God who is, who is outside of themselves. It's a God that's actually been created in our minds. And, and the truth is, is you can pray to that God, you know, whoever he or she or it is. But in essence, the prayer is really falling on the ears, if you will, will of the spirit the God that dwells within you. So it really doesn't matter. But in essence, you are a God. You came here to earth to have a uh, spiritual experience. And, and it is you where all the power, all the strength, all the creative uh, abilities that you have comes from. And so you really are uh, praying to yourself. All right. And does that mean I'm creating my own reality, even when I stub my toe or have a car wreck? Yes, you create your own reality. You absolutely create your own reality. And it's not to say that, you know, we are we are consciously thinking about stubbing our toe or getting in a car wreck. But life unfolds around that creative individual that dwells within us. And and every part of life, you know, regardless of whether we, we look at it as bad or, or harmful or hurtful uh, or good, is, is part of that life experience. And, and really, all of it uh, in, the, in the end is wonderful. It's sweet. Uh, the Buddha, uh, you know, he, he, lived, he left his family when he was 29, uh, roamed northern India for 50-some for odd years after that, looking for answers to the, the cause of suffering in the world. And, and what he came up with at the end of it is, is the suffering hadn't stopped. He wasn't able to figure out why it was. There were still wars. His family was destroyed. His city was destroyed. And yet in the very end, he looked at life and he just said, life is sweet. Ultimately, life is sweet. And we will all come to that at some point in our lives. We choose what it is or how it is we are going to look at life. And so we can look at the stub toe, we can look at the car wreck as, oh boy, you know, that's really terrible. You know, the the gods are against me. But in truth, it isn't. It all rolls up into one huge experience that is sweet and wonderful. Most of us will, uh, you know, in our in our egoic state, we'll look back at our lives and, and most of us will will assess our lives and say, you know, I wouldn't change anything. You know, and and when they say that, they're including the stub toe, the car wrecks, the the you know the the little things that happen or the big things that happen along the way. We we look back and say, you know, I wouldn't have changed a thing. Uh, we usually do that when we're in you know a really good place, but we're in this place because of all of the events and experiences that we've had throughout our lives, and that's what it's all about. You know, spiritual beings came here to have a human experience. It's wonderful. Every part of it is wonderful. And it really sounds as though you're taking it a step further, though, than just law of attraction and creating your reality, which is what a lot of people talk about. Because you're saying not to 
use positive intention to get rid of the bad things. You're saying embrace all of it. And that that seems to be a more all-encompassing viewpoint than you sometimes hear in the positive uh, positive movement or the spiritual movement and so forth. Would, would you agree with that? Yeah, that, that, that's a good way to I, – I like the way you said that. Um, ultimately, you know, the law of attraction, uh, you know, there, there's something greater than the law of attraction. In fact, um, the law, when we, you know, humans tend to wrap – um, wrap things in laws. We like laws. We like rules. And, and it really becomes the limitations that we impose upon ourselves that really limits the experience that we can have in our life. Uh, a, a, a saying of mine um, is that the, the law of attraction uh, will ask, let there be light so I may see. Uh, whereas creation, we as gods creating, ask, let there be light so all may see. It is, it is something greater than um, wanting and, and having and collecting. And uh, <clears throat> life, is, life is really not about gathering to us. It is really about giving to. One of the things in your book that you talk about is one of the ways we can get past this place of being stuck is to let go of our past, right? To yes. free mm-hmm. ourselves from the past. But don't we learn from the past? Can't we take our mistakes and our successes and build upon it and move forward and grow? You know, I, I, I actually um, talk quite a bit about that in the book. And, uh, and I, I think it's actually one of our big myths in, in, uh, in our current reality that we learn from our mistakes. I mean, you look at you look at the world today, and yeah, we're very modern, and we have wonderful things, and we're able to do things that we weren't able to do 100 years ago or 50 years ago, and yet we stand in a place where the 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 past, if you will, uh, has been brought forward in a in a it, to me in a, an extremely scary way. We have the ability now to absolutely destroy every single thing on life or in life. Mm-hmm. And um, and we haven't we have you know there's still wars there's still suffering there's still pain. Um, I, I I really wonder if man has the ability to actually learn from his past. I I don't believe that the, the egoic man the egoic human the the the, the people that we are uh, who who use our minds. Um, to you know, to further ourselves is, is a path to ending the things that we see so dangerous in the world. And um, but but on the the flip side of that, there is a spiritual essence to all of us. Actually, it's more than a spiritual essence. It, it, it's only an essence because our ego, our egos are so big that we've we've kind of pushed it to the curb. Uh, but we are gods. We are greater than anything our minds can create, anything that our minds can conceive. There's something about us that's even bigger than all of that. And <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I, I really struggle with this idea that we are, you know, that we learn from our past. I, you know, I, I haven't seen it. You know, when you, when you begin to, to understand or you begin to perceive and become aware of who you are. And when I, when I talk about who you are, I'm talking about that, that God, that divine individual that dwells within you. Uh, you, you. You divorce yourself from the idea of right or wrong. The more you open to the idea that, that you are here for this abundant experience, this incredible sweet experience, and, uh, and, and, and stop judging things as good or evil. You look at life experience, and, and anybody who loves life, who really, really cherishes life, everything that is happening in the world today contributes to the beauty they are experiencing in life. Carl, your website is spiritual-intuition.com. And you Correct. talk about these and many other things over on the site. It's a fascinating place. The book is called On Being God by Carl Bozeman. 